Today we are talking with Tosca from the bookstore at Virginia Western. My name is Becky Kramer and I work in the recruitment department and we are always working really closely with the bookstore during the summer months while we do orientations and we wanted to touch base and get some information out about how students are going to get their books. So um, Tosca has agreed to meet with me on this Friday. Um, it is July 31st, 2020. We are going to be talking about fall semester, fall 2020. Um, things have changed a little bit because of COVID and regulations. And so um, I've got my Virginia Western shirt on from the bookstore. I miss <laughs> being able to go into the bookstore all the time to get snacks and drinks and um, see everybody's smiling faces. So we're really happy um, to have this opportunity to talk with you, Tosca, today. Um, Tosca is the um, manager of the bookstore at Virginia Western, and it's an awesome bookstore. So we wanted to um, touch base today to get this out to um, kind of explain some of the things that students have been asking, and I'm sure you're getting a lot of questions to Tosca since things have, have changed. Um, so if you wanna go ahead and start um, with the financial aid and scholarships um, info, I think that would probably be the biggest thing that people are interested in um, because normally we have a line out the door, I know, um, when it gets to be that time. So could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. And you know what, it has been a long, summer just adjusting to everything rolling with the changes and gosh we miss you guys too seeing all the faces and you know we're not just part of the virginia western community but you know you guys are our friends and and it, you know it's so hard we miss you so this is a great opportunity to you know um kind of talk about what changes are coming or have happened so with financial aid. There's kind of um, several different ways to approach answering that question. Um, because things are different, the bulk of our business is going to be online. And so most of the students will have to go online to um, purchase their, not just their books, but their supplies from us as well, because a lot of our community uses the um, financial aid resources. Um, so with that said, when you go to the website, you'll need to, um, you can just shop around. It's pretty um, user friendly, the website is. And if you're just looking for books, right in the middle of the screen is, is where you can type in the, your course. And then towards the end of checkout, um, when it asks for payment, that's where you'll use your uh, IMPL ID or student ID, whichever you call it, um, as the account number. And the system will access your um, what, how much funds you have available and if what you're buying is uh, within the, the limits of what you're able to purchase. For instance, financial aid won't cover t-shirts or you know, things like that, but it will cover a backpack and a computer. So um, it kind of checks for all of that. And it lets you know if you have enough funds available. Uh, then you just proceed with checkout. And we, um, I say try, but it's more than that. We really aim to fill our orders within 24 hours. Um, wow. That's awesome. So, yeah, it, it is. Now, with the bulk of the student population shopping online, it may be longer than that, um, but we are really aiming to, to keep that commitment. That's what it's been in the past. We really aim to, to keep that this go around. And we've, I've staffed accordingly so we can try to keep that 24 hour turnaround now. If someone shops, say, Saturday night, you know, of course, we won't be back in until Monday. So right. there are some exceptions to that. But um, 
you know, like I said, we do, you know, we understand you guys are on a time crunch, so we have to be as well. Um, now, financial aid will open uh, to be used both online and in store, and we'll talk more about be shopping in store in a second. Um, but it opens for all facets um, on the 10th of August. Um, and it'll stay open until September 11th, which I believe is a Friday. Um, so you've got uh, a good month to, to shop. Um, and we, it's actually opened, the financial aid department was really um, trying to be as accommodating as possible to those that, you know, because we are, you know, it takes a little, a, a little bit of time to fill the order, get it shipped out, et cetera. Um, so they opened it up early for us. So I'm really pleased about that. And that's really um, the bookstore and financial aid working together to, to make that happen. So I was really happy to see that for, for the community. Um, yeah. Uh, also, something that's kind of new, not kind of, it is new, <laughs> but mm -hmm. we used to offer in-store pickup so students can um, avoid shipping charges. So this year, or this semester, what we're doing is curbside pickup. So you don't come into the store, you just choose curbside pickup, and it is an option when you get ready to check out, uh, you know, online. It'll say curbside pickup and it's free. And then you'll get a couple emails telling you what to do. You go, um, we are actually utilizing the faculty parking lot that's right there next to the bookstore. Um, we've got the first 10 spaces reserved. So all our students have to do is pull into one of those spots. There are, um, there is some signage out there saying what number to call. And, um, and then we come out, we bring your order, we put it in your trunk, and you're on your way. So it's a contactless delivery, um, you know, which in these days, health and safety is at the forefront of everybody's mind, not just mine at the bookstore, but also everyone at the school, the administrators and faculty. Um, so I'm really pleased that we can offer the curbside pickup um, I think a lot of students will be utilizing that just because over the summer, man, we got a bunch of phone calls saying, how can I, I need my book right now. How can I get it? You know, and, and we weren't open to, yeah, we weren't open to this, the um, public. So we weren't able to offer it at that point. So we do have it in place. We've been test running it with those few orders that have been trickling in and, and it seems to be running well. So I'm really excited about to offer that. Now for those students that are, you know, further away that can't necessarily, you know, just pop into the, the store, you know, pop over to the store and pick up their order, we are still shipping and they can choose what delivery method. Um, uh, I believe the verbiage has changed. So if, for instance, you're wanting it as fast as possible, I think it says fastest, fast, and standard. So it doesn't say overnight or anything like that. So you kind of just say fastest if you need it, you know, overnight. And, and um, I'm just saying that because it can, it might get confusing on <laughs> what the it's, options are. Does the financial aid cover shipping at all or no? It, yeah, it sure does. Um, so, you know, that's really just for students as far as cost of shipping. That's really for students that are paying out of pocket. It will tell them what the, you know, for each level of shipping. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, financial aid covers it. Also, there are other um, scholarships that students will utilize. For instance, the Educational Foundation. Um, that it it works in the exact same way that financial aid does. When you go to check out, um, you know, you put in your Impl ID and whatever scholarships are associated with that 
student will be listed there. Um, and, and all of those will cover shipping. Awesome. Um, yeah, it's really exciting. That's really cool. So, I didn't know that it covered shipping. That's mm -hmm. really good to know. Yeah, it is. And, um, if for some reason a student has, um, a scholarship that they know about, but they don't see it listed, by all means, contact the bookstore or um, financial aid because sometimes it, it may it may be it may be encompassed in what's called financial aid, but it's actually a um, private scholarship. But they, you know, the money was sent to the school, and so you know, so if you don't see it, call one of us either the bookstore or financial aid and we can sort it out. We can try to figure out what it is and get you set up. Um, so, but most commonly what we have is educational foundation, uh, VA, the, um, there's project pathfinders, there's the VEC, which is Virginia uh, Employment Commission. Um, all of those will be available online if, you know that student qualifies for it so um we've really worked hard over the summer to make sure those things are available and accessible online and that's not been something in the past we've had financial aid but not necessarily the other scholarships so oh, all of that's online now great. that's cool yeah now, yeah. are all of the books yeah. um i'll let you finish about financial aid but um just before I, so i don't forget are all of the books loaded for all sections um, for the fall already, or is that kind of still happening? Um, it's mostly still happening. Right now what we're doing is fine tuning um, because we've actually known what books are going to be needed for what courses um, since April. So what we've been doing over the summer is sourcing those books. And so, um, but changes happen, you know, as different faculty, you know, that maybe new additions come out. So we're fine tuning right now. So if you don't see the material that you need for a particular course, by all means, reach out to us. You can email us or whatever. Chances are we know what's going on with it and we can tell you exactly. Um, for instance, there, um, you know, it just may not have been um, added to the website, but that's a great, that's a great tip, you know, even for normal circumstances, you know, cause we get that question yeah. a lot. Yeah, correct. And for instance, there are um, classes like the, the art, um, I think it's called visual design now. Um, there are specific things that they need that we are aware of and that we're sourcing, but it's not on the website, not all of it. Um, so if that's a student's um, situation, like I said, in that case, we're fully aware of what they need and we're trying to source it. It just hasn't quite come together. So we're still working on it. So that's why I said, by all means, reach out to us. More than likely, we know about it and we can, we can better advise you on what needs to happen so um, on when you're on the website the bookstore website there is um, a link where you can email us I believe it says contact us um, we respond to those emails as fast as possible unless it comes in over the weekend right. um, but you know even then as soon as we get back to our email we respond so you know don't hesitate to reach out in all our facets, whether it's email or, or calling. Um, and a lot of times if you ask a different department, financial aid or whatever, they were, we work so closely with the various departments of the school, somebody will get an answer. You know? Absolutely, so. and that's what's so hard is because normally we can just walk over if we have a question and, and find somebody to ask. So it's always, it's different right now because we're not so close to each other. Um, so, yeah. but I've learned some new things already today. So that's a good thing. Um, yeah. What about if a student has a question? I know a lot of times when we have orientation, 
will have a parent and a student after orientation have questions about how to find the books and even online, you know, and, and I do agree that your website is very user friendly and it's pretty easy to use. Um, but if somebody does have questions about how to look for their books and needs help walking through that, who should they contact? Um, should they email? Should they call? What's the best way to get help? Um, well, okay, so there's kind of two answers to that. If you're on the website, um, like I said, by all means, email us, call us, and we'll respond right away. Um, if you're planning on coming in the store, and like I said, we'll talk about that, um, then my staff is so good. They know any anything you need to know, they can answer. If you're having trouble, typically what happens is when a student and parent come in, they go straight to the textbook section, which is toward the back of the store. And I have two to three staff members back there just waiting to answer questions because that's so common. Even students who have been in there before and kind of know how the bookstore operates, they have questions. So I have staff members literally just hanging out waiting to answer questions. And and that's what we're there for. So, you know, find someone, ask us, you know, we'll direct you. Um, and our textbook section in store can be a little, I wouldn't say tricky, but it's not what we're typically used to. It's not organized in a typical fashion because we organize the books based on the last name of the author and not necessarily by class or, you know, um, so, and that's the reason why I have staff members just waiting to answer questions because it can get uh, a little confusing on how to find your book. Um, so we're, you know, any question you have, we're ready and able. Um, so let's, if I can just shift gears, let's talk about your in-store shopping experience this Absolutely. semester. It is, we are open to the public, but it's only by appointment. It's by appointment only. And so you'll need to call the store in order to schedule an appointment. And that is going to be for the foreseeable future until our new normal changes. <laughs> so, um, by all means, if you need to get into the store, if you feel like you are better, um, you'd feel more comfortable shopping in the store, then make an appointment. Um, so it, in order to schedule the appointment, uh, our number is 857-7334. Perfect. And how much in advance should people call do you want them to call a couple of days before? What What's the kind of feel for that right now? Well, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a couple days in advance. Um, we are on a very limited capacity, um, which is why we decided to go to the reservation uh, system. So if you're needing something that day, you know, chances are we'll be able to find a slot for you. It just may not be, you know, right then. So by all means, at least give us a couple hours notice and say, hey, I really, you know, my class is at three o'clock. Can I come in at one? Can I come in at whatever? Um, so it's really based on what your need is and, and what we've got available. So full disclosure, we're only able to allow 10 customers at a time. And that includes any customers plus one. So potentially we could have five customers with a plus one and that's our 10 yeah. capacity. And that's every half hour. So, you know, because people will be passing through, um, some just wanna, you know, pop in and, and grab a, a flash drive and go. So they might take 10 minutes. but 
we have to assume that, you know, their full shopping experience is going to be about a half hour. Um, mm. With that being said, because it's half hour increments, we probably can get you in fairly quickly. But for safety, health and safety reasons, we can only book 10 people at a time. Um, so I don't necessarily need two days at a time. But, you know, if you're like me and need to plan out what is going to happen when, you might want to look at a couple of days. But I don't think that that's necessary. Just don't plan on showing up at the store and being able to go right in because that's more if I'm just being honest that's probably not going to happen are students coming through the back door closest to the faculty parking lot or are they coming through near Chapman through the regular um, entrance right so they're going to come in. it's going to be a one way in and a one way out so you'll come in through I believe it's Craig Hall I believe that's our yeah so you'll okay. come in through Craig and that there will be sort of a hostess out front that will check customers in. They'll need to um, sign a health certification. You know, I'm sure you've seen them where it says, you know, I've not had any symptoms. I don't have a fever, that sort of thing. And so will their plus one, their plus one will have to sign one of those as well. And then um, that, my hostess will allow them into the store and they can start shopping. Um, our aisles will be one direction, like you've seen at Walmart and Target. Um, and then we've, um, and then, you know, once you check out, you'll go out the door into the parking lot. So it, um, um, I, we've put a lot of thought into the flow of things. And so I think what we won't see, which we've seen in the past, is long lines just because of our limited capacity and um, because of the flow of the, the store. I, I think that will really um, kind of be an in and out experience. So. Okay. That's great. That's great to know. And we do have, just to let students and parents know, we do have a mask policy on campus. Right. Um, so visitors coming to the bookstore or anywhere else on campus will um, have to wear a mask. Um, Absolutely. So make sure to um, be prepared with that when you come for um, your appointment. Um, right. Think- and and we'll, we're taking it a step further that no one can come into the bookstore without a mask. All of our um, employees will have a mask. Um, and while we're on the subject, Um, We have enhanced our cleaning policies. It used to be we'd clean after the store closed. Well, that's not where we are today. So now every two hours, um, uh, you know, my register people will stop and clean the the credit card machine, um, you know, the highly touched areas, the doors and um, that sort of the the handles for the... um, refrigerators where the coat and you know monster that sort of thing um and then it'll you know we'll get right back to business um also let's see where uh, we discussed the contactless delivery for curbside um uh we are going to accept cash but we strongly encourage um the cashless payment mm-hmm. um because if you pay with cash, we it will slow down the process. Uh, I'm, we are, you know, if we have to issue a uh, change, if we become impacted by that, you know, like by the, the banks not being able to give us any, then we'll have to issue your change on a gift card. And, you know, for students, that kind of becomes a hassle. So we strongly encourage a cashless payment. If you have to pay by cash, it will slow down the process, but we are taking it. That's a good point. So definitely it's Mm -hmm. in their best interest um, to not bring cash just because if they, they don't want to just get a big credit to the bookstore if they don't need one. So that's a good point. Yeah, correct. 
Now we can ask, we can, sorry, <laughs> I'm getting done, guys. We can uh, issue bills, um, but, you know, if your change is 15 cents, that's going on a gift card. And, you know, that's just a hassle for the students. So, um, but I, I kind of got off topic. I wanted to talk about cleaning. We really are um, trying to make sure that not just my staff, um, health is at the forefront of the mind, but the customers too. We we really want to do our part to keep the Virginia Western community um, healthy. So that is at the very forefront of our mind. Perfect, of course. Um, so I, I think I probably know the answer to this question because it sounds like the operations really are still running the same um, are used and rentals and digital materials, are all of those still options like normal? Absolutely. Now, the used books, um, we are kind of uh, in a ad advantageous position uh, because we've known what books that, you know, faculty are choosing since April. We've had this time to source used books. Also, we have a lot of students that choose to rent, which is always um, and the, the lesser expensive option when choosing a, a book. Um, all of those rented books come back, and then we use them again as used books. So we not only source from outside sources to get used, but we have a local supply that we can use. And we do, we use them over and over um, because that's what keeps the cost down for the students. So those are options. Also, we have a price match option and um, that's changed a little bit because of how we do business, you know, due to uh, COVID. But um, how it's changed is Yes, we offer price matching, and it's it's with we price match with uh, Amazon or Barnes and Noble. Those are the only two. And if it's Amazon, it can't be a third party vendor because Amazon does like to work with them as well. But it has to be directly from Amazon, um, and that's only available if you're shopping in store. We don't have the capacity to or the ability to price match online. So if price matching is really important to you, then you need to make an appointment and come into the store. Okay, that's perfect. Now also while you're shopping online, our website will automatically default to the cheapest option. Meaning if there's new, there's used, there's rented, there's digital, it'll go to the digital typically because digital is cheaper. So you kind of have to keep an eye on that. If you yeah. prefer, even though it's a cheaper or more expensive option, you choose to buy your used book rather than rent it, you need to make sure you change that option because our system automatically defaults to the cheapest option. Very interesting, I didn't know that. And I always tell students, for me, I like to have, um, a, a paper copy digital would be really hard for me. So that's great because some yeah. people would just assume if it's defaulting to that, that must be the best option, not necessarily the cheapest, but better somehow. So that's good to know. I didn't know yeah. that. That's great. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, I know that a lot of times when we get closer to fall, bookstore hours change. Um, are they set right now for what they will be all of August? What What's the hour, what are the hours like now and will they be changing? Yeah, um, well, the, I guess the short answer to that is yes and no. <laughs> um, yes, they are set right now and at 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And typically they do change. We extend our hours almost to a 12 hour period from, um, seven to seven, I believe it used to be. Um, but because of COVID, we really are limiting our hours that the, the public has access to the store. So for the public's purposes, we are open from 9 a.m. to four. Now, those aren't the hours that we are there. We're there much longer than that. 
but that's in order to accommodate filling the um, excess online orders that we're anticipating. So if you need to contact us, if you need to be in the store, it's between 9 a.m. and 4, and that will stay consistent through rush, through the foreseeable future. Okay, that's good to know. Um, what about Fridays? I know um, on a Friday, it'll be like 2 o'clock, and I'll be like, oh, I got to go get a Coke, and then the bookstore is closed. <laughs> Are you guys open yeah. 9 to on Fridays, or is it 9 to 1, or what's the deal with Fridays right now? Um, well, right now, I've got the hours set as 9 to noon. Um, however, I may change that. Okay. And I hate to, to not have a definitive answer. But for right now, it's set 9 to noon with a strong possibility that I'll change it to 9 to 4. I would say moving forward, call and, um, you know, find out. But for right now, just plan on us being closed at noon. Um, and I say I may change it just because I'm not really sure um, with our operational changes that have happened if the need will be there for us to be open from nine to four. And in the past, we've closed early because the need has not been there for us to be open. Um, you know, most most campus, most of the individuals on campus, whether it's faculty, staff, or student, Friday afternoon, they're not thinking about school. <laughs> so, totally yeah, um, it's like a ghost yeah. town usually on Fridays. Correct, right. So I, I'm really going to be assessing the need and, um, you know, if I need to, then we'll change it. But for right now, it's 9 to noon. And is the website um, for the bookstore um, updated pretty quickly once you make a decision to change something? Is that something that happens yeah. pretty quickly and stays up to date? Yeah, absolutely. As far as the hours of operation, um, those are things that I can change right there at my desk. And I believe it takes just a couple okay. hours to update on the website. So it's not exactly real time, but it is pretty quick. So um, we do try to keep that as, as current as possible. That's awesome. Um, I'm trying to think. I feel like I have gotten all of the questions answered that I wanted to make sure we covered. Was there anything else that you can think of that we didn't cover or that you've been getting a lot of questions about? Um, no, I think the most common question is, you know, how to navigate the, the website. Um, when is financial aid open? And we covered those. Um, I think the overarching thing is, is that me and my staff are here for you all. So don't hesitate to reach out to us. I mean, this is what we do. We're here for you guys. And you'd be surprised at what we're able, how we're able to help out. So even if you think that, you know, I, I, you know, I don't know who else to call. Let me call the bookstore. You'd be surprised. We, we probably can help you out. <laughs> um, so don't hesitate to call us. Absolutely. And if it's out of our wheelhouse, we'll we'll try to at least put them on the right track and say this is the person you need to call. So and you'd be surprised at how and often I, that happens. And I can vouch for that. We love the bookstore and love the staff in the bookstore. And so it's a shame that we can't welcome our students um, at orientation and then we normally send them off to the bookstore to kind of check things out um, because I think it's definitely one of our strengths at Virginia Western. I know a lot of colleges don't even have a bookstore anymore. Um, yeah. So I hate that they can't get that experience um, as easily as they would normally. Um, but I will say, you know, just to piggyback on what you said, you all are so wonderful to work with and your staff is so knowledgeable. Um, and I know that we all in the whole Virginia Western community, um, but I feel like especially Chapman Hall, since we're right next to you guys, um, we all work really great together and um, we know that you're going to do everything to help our students. Um, so yes, uh, anybody you. who sees this, I will just say that our store is um, excellent. And just to throw out the date again, um, 
It is July 31st, 2020, um, Friday. We're talking about fall 2020 and financial aid, um, Tosca, interrupt me if I'm wrong, financial aid um, for bookstore starts August 10th. Um, Correct. So can students go ahead and add stuff to their cart before August 10th or should they really just wait until August 10th? No, you can put stuff in your cart and hold it there. If if financial aid is your main resource, go ahead and put stuff in your cart. And, um, you know, I believe it's midnight of the 10th, so uh, Sunday night, you know, you can start shopping. <laughs> it, it should be on whenever uh, whenever that happens. So, yeah, go ahead and do that. That's awesome. And um, also just wanted to point out again, shoot, there was one thing that I wanted to say before I hung up. Mm. I totally forgot. It was something we already discussed, but I wanted to um, put a reminder out there. Um, but again, just um, for anybody who sees this, um, the bookstore is fully operational. Um, oh, I wanted to mention that I, I saw the signage in the faculty parking lot and that's really great. It's really easy to see for students. Um, so I do think you all have done an excellent job, um, you know, thinking on your feet and Thank making you. changes. And so it, it looks great. So just for students, I know for me, when I go somewhere new and I don't really know where I'm going, it's kind of nerve wracking, um, but you all have done a great job of making it very clear where to go. Um, plus the good thing is there's not a lot of people on campus. So if you don't know where you're going, you can take your time trying to find it because yeah. um, it's not yeah. crowded. Um, so yeah. I know that helps for me when I go somewhere new um, as well, but you guys have done an excellent job. Um, and I actually learned a lot today, um, even great. outside the COVID um, procedures. So I'm excited. Um, I'll be using a lot of this um, in our orientation. We always talk about the bookstore, but of course things will be a little different. Um, and so I have learned a lot, Tosca. Great, thank you. I'm so glad. And you know, that's what I'm here for. And unfortunately, not a pe lot of people know that, that we are so accessible. So, you know, if, if that's my only message, please reach out to us because we can help. <laughs> Absolutely. And I, and I am, um, I'm excited to know that you guys are there every day, all day, um, you know, and able, I'm, I'm really, um, I think it's awesome. Your appointment availability. I didn't realize that it was so open. Um, I would have thought it would have been less than that. So that's great. Um, yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, I just think you guys have done an excellent job and um, I would just, Encourage anybody who's watching this, once things are back to normal, who knows when that is, um, definitely go check out the bookstore. We miss you guys. We love to take a break, walk over, grab our snacks, and you know, say hi to everybody and check out the sale items. So um, it'll be fun to get back in there and um, get to seeing you guys again. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's so hard not to be able to hug some of some of our friends, but you know, just I'll I'll be happy just to see those eyes. <laughs> I know that's the thing is nobody can tell who's smiling or you know, but that's you right. can tell by the eyes. But it those little things that we took for granted. I'm sure none of us will ever take for granted a hug, even a handshake. It's weird just to yeah. say hi to people. Um, yes, Dave, if you're meeting somebody new, so. You know, sometimes you have to yeah. you know, catch yourself when you try it. Because I'm a hugger. I like to hug people. Yeah. So it's, it's super hard. But it'll be really yeah. exciting when things go back to normal. But I'm just so um, excited about all the opportunities you guys are giving students to get their things. And um, I love that financial aid cover shipping. I didn't know that that was covered. So that's amazing. Um, it is, and just so like a, said, a little a lot side today, note. Tosca. Thank you so much. No problem. Not to to get us off on another subject, but I, while you were saying that, I thought about financial aid has also decided to cover face masks, and those are offered online. 
So if you need those, That's financially great. covers it. That's a big, mm -hmm. I think um, that is an excellent point. I'm really glad you brought that up because um, for a lot of people, that's an extra expense. I mean, a lot of people can't um, handle the cost of, uh, you know, normal necessities. So extra new thing. Correct. That is yeah. excellent. Thank you for bringing that and up. They, really, really yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. That. Thank you for jogging my memory. Um, we also have them in store. So if you, you know, those that will be on campus, um, the hands-on classes, if you find yourself in a position where, you know, oh, I forgot my mask. We've got some in the store. Now we'll have to do some, you know, because it's by appointment only. But if you reach out to us and say, hey, I'm here for a thing. Can I please? We'll work something out for you. So one, it's covered by financial aid. And two, I've got them on hand. So that's, that's amazing. It. Let me write a note so I don't forget about that. Financial aid covers masks. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for bringing that up. I really, really, sure. really appreciate sorry, it. It's, sorry, it's last minute. But <laughs> no, that's okay. That's really, really great to know. I really appreciate that because again, um, those are the things that can be a burden to students and just one yeah. more thing. Um, it, that's great to know. I really appreciate you throwing that in there. Um, and I will tell everybody um, about that um, so that we can Great. spread the word too because we don't want to things are stressful for students um, right now everything is overwhelming so anything that we can do to take some of that pressure off is great so that's amazing okay. thank you and, and so they're in the bookstore also they you can purchase yeah. them in store as well correct okay great they, we have a awesome. display and everything so awesome. we're ready for you guys awesome, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. i'm excited yeah. i'm excited thank you so yeah. much for talking with me today Asta. thank and you you too i hope to see you soon okay thank you okay, we'll bye. see you all